Good morning, Year 7. Let's do another lesson on algebra. We're going to be looking at multiplying algebra today, but let's do some revision of like terms first. So we have four questions here. Remember that if we're adding and subtracting, which you can see in these questions, there's lots of plus and minus signs, so we are doing lots of adding and subtracting, then you need to make sure that you have like terms, which means the letters have to be the same for you to be able to add them together. So in the first one, we have 4x plus 5x minus x, and there's a sneaky little one in front of that last one there. So because they're all x's, we can put these ones together. So we use the numbers in front. We go 4 plus 5, that makes 9. Then we minus 1, which means that we have 8x. In the second one, though, you'll see that we have different letters. I have a 2m. And here's another M, so those ones are like terms. But then these ones, there's a 3N and N. So we have two different types of terms. Now we're going to use the ones that are colored the same to collect up. First of all, let's do the M's. So 2M plus 5 makes 7M. Then 3, a positive 3, take away the sneaky one, three take away one is a positive two n. Let's do that again. Question, next question is very similar. So we have five a, and that would be a like term with the negative a. Remember you always take the symbol in front. And minus two b would go with the plus four b. So again, let's do the ones that are colored yellow first. We have 5a minus a sneaky 1a. 5 minus 1 is 4a. Then doing the b's, we start with negative 2, and we have to add on 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2b. And the last one, they are both k terms, but the reason this one is here because we have the double symbol. If you have a minus and a minus next to each other, it means that that turns into a plus. And we're going to be doing negative eight plus five, which makes a negative three K. All right, so hopefully that is getting easier. We want to look at multiplying today. And it's very important that you don't mix up adding and subtracting with the multiplying and dividing that we're going to be learning next. Okay, so there's different rules. If we're multiplying, obviously you're going to see some multiplication signs in there. But if we have something like A times B, we prefer to put them next to each other and change that to AB. It's simplified, a little bit shorter to write, but it means that they're still times together. Also, A times A could be shortened to be an A squared, because it means that there's two of them times together, that little power tells you how many of them are multiplied. Uh, the next one, the something in which the values are multiplied is not important. The word we're looking for there is order. The order in which values are multiplied is not important. So three times A and A times three are both the same thing or they are equal. And if you wanted to know, they are both equal to three A. Even in the second one where the A is first, we always put the number in front when we are simplifying them. Because of the associative property of multiplication, three times bracket two times five, sorry, start again. Three times bracket five times two is the same as three times five times two. Even though you're putting brackets in a different spot, because they are all multiplied, they aren't really needed. So it says here the brackets are not needed and they don't make a difference to what that is equal to. This is only when multiplication is used. Okay, so um, for example, with algebra, if we have three times A times B or three times A times B with the brackets in different places, both of those things would be written as number first three and then alphabetical order, a, B. Numbers should always, and it's in capital letters, numbers should always 
be written first in a term and pronumerals are generally written in alphabetical order. For example, B times 2 times A is written as number first should be 2, then alphabetical order for the B and the A, you should put the A first, so it should be A, B. Okay, so let's practice multiplying some things. Complete the following. Write 4 times A times B times C without multiplication signs. Now, all those letters are different and 4 is the only number. So all we're doing in this question is pushing everything next to each other and getting rid of the multiplication signs. So it's just 4 A, B, C. B is a little bit harder because we have got some different numbers here that we can actually multiply. We are going to multiply 4 times 2 times 3. 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. But then the letters, the A, the B, and the C, are still going to sit at the end. So here is a whole bunch of questions that just say simplify. That means you want to multiply any numbers and you want to collect up any letters at the end. So in question 2a, 8 times 3 is 24 and the Y will sit at the end. In question B, 2 times 7 is 14, and the letters X and Y will collect up in alphabetical order at the end. In C, 3W times 4W, 3 times 4 is 12, and W times W, we don't put them next to each other, instead we do W squared to say that there's two of them. Indeed, there's three things multiplied here. So we're going to do the numbers first. 5 times 3, that's 15, times 2 is 30. And now our letters. Oh, this is T, V, and Z. Yes, they're in alphabetical order. So T, V, Z. E, the numbers are minus 4 and 9. So we can multiply negative numbers. That's still okay. We did a topic on that. Minus 4 times 9 is a negative 36. And then the letter W sits at the end. Minus 10 times minus 6 for the next one will become a positive. 2 minus will become a positive when you multiply them. So positive 60. G times G makes G squared. Question G. Minus 2 times 4 times a minus 3. Now what you could do is you could deal with the minus signs first. If there's two minus signs, those two minus signs are going to become a plus. Then we just have to worry about multiplying numbers. So we go 4 times 2, which is 8, and 8 times the 3 makes 24. The A, B, and C sit in alphabetical order at the end. And finally, H times H times H times H. There's no numbers there at all. But H is multiplied four times, so it would be have a power of four on it. Okay, so that's our little introduction to multiplying algebraic expressions. You now need to complete exercise six on pages 34 to 36.